I'm following Paul Seller's method of building a workbench. I'm not doing it in the backyard under the, sh the shade of a tree because I have a two-car garage with plenty of room, so taking advantage of that. Also, probably not going to go full tilt on this thing and finish it all in one day. Because I have other projects that I'm doing. But I wanted to get this started because my son has a birthday coming. He's going to be 28 and he has a new house. One of the things he said he wanted was a bench for his basement workshop. Up a new house, and I'm very proud of him. And I want to give him a bench for his birthday. And I'm going to glue all these two by fours together. Then, when they've all set up, another thing that I have that Paul Sellers may not have access to or may just choose not to use, I have a 13 inch planer. And that makes it so that I can choose to machine plane the edges of all these 2x4s down. Now, if I was going to do each individual 2x4, by hand, I would be doing this operation much differently. But because I have that nifty row machine sitting against the back wall, which will plane this down to size in a matter of a minute or less, I can't see any point to expending all the effort. Using my favorite glue, which is Tight Bond 3. I don't like it for the waterproofing ability or even the idea that it's got a really good name and a very strong reputation. I like it because it works for me. The goal in my projects is always to make things work the best I can. I'm just clipping this together while I get it rolled over.
looking at the end of the 2x4s, I can see that they're not all on the same plane. But I'm going to cut off a foot on each end of this bench. So I'm not going to worry and fuss about these little pieces here on the end. Because when I run it through the planer, I'm going to get snipe. Nothing I can do about it, it's just the nature of the beast. That's going to be about an inch and a, well, about three inches of snipe on each end of this thing. So, these high spots are going to be gone away. Also, because I'm looking at making a six foot bench, because it is for a basement, I don't need to have everything absolutely perfectly square on both ends because I'm going to cut it off. Big thing I'm looking for is to make sure that this is glued up as a solid mat. to have clamps tightened up absolutely 100% secure. Squeezing all the glue out kind of defeats the purpose. I also left the surface of the 2x4s a little rough because that will give the glue a place to go and fill in the pockets. What I intend to do just for sake of time and expediency I'm going to clamp up this and have it set drying I'm going to lay out the legs and I'm going to trim and adjust those to accept the vise because I'm going to have one large leg on the front right hand corner. Ryan's right handed like I am and I like to work off the right hand side of the bench. Okay, that part of it's done. Sometime tomorrow, the next day, I'll have to go get more 2x4s because I intend to make the top of the bench 24 inches wide. Big thing was getting started, and today was the beginning. I actually gluing stuff together. I had originally decided to use two by sixes and glue them edge to edge, but when I got through planing one flat and ended up with the whole thing cockeyed to the point where it was gonna be almost an inch thinner, I decided that gluing together two by fours made better sense. So that's where we're at. Old Smealock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.